Hi, this video tutorial I will cover aggregation or hash share relationship. Employee extends a person. So, employee is a person and employee inherits uh, all properties and methods from the person. Like that, uh, student extends a person. So, student is a person. So, student inherits all properties and methods from the person. Employee can have address. So, employee can have uh, address instance. So, employee has a address. Like that, uh, student can have address. And uh, student can have uh, address instance. So, student has a address. Employee is a person. Meaning, employee class extends class person. Student is a person. Meaning, uh, class student extends class person. Employee has a address. Meaning, employee contains address instance student uh, has a address meaning uh, student class contain address instance here you can see person class it has uh, two properties name and age and it has uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these two properties and also it has uh, person constructor using that we can create person object and uh, here you can see employee class which extends uh, person class so employee is a person and employee inherits all properties and methods of uh, person class and also employee has uh, additional properties like uh, department name employee id and address and it has uh, getter and setter methods for department name employee id and address and uh, using employee constructor we can create the employee object class student extends uh, class person so student is a person and uh, student inherits uh, all properties and methods of uh, person class and also student has uh, additional properties like uh, grade roll number and address and it has uh, getter and setter methods for these properties and using uh, student constructor we can create the student object here you can see address class which has uh, four properties street city state and zip and uh, it has uh, getter and setter methods for these properties and using address constructor we can create the address object employee has a address instance so employee has a address student has a address instance so student has a address we will see the sample program now here you can see class person which has uh, two properties name and age and I have defined uh, getter and setter methods for these two properties and I have overridden uh, two string method and using a uh, person constructor we can create a person object and uh, here you can see class address which has uh, four properties street city state and zip and i have defined uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these four properties and i have overridden uh, two string method and using this uh, address constructor we can create the address object class employee extends person so employee inherits all properties and methods of uh, person and it has uh, additional properties like uh, department name employee id and address and uh, this employee class has address instance so employee has a address and uh, here i have defined uh, getter and setter methods for these properties department name employee id and address and I have overridden uh, two string method and using employee constructor we can create employee object class student extends person so student inherits uh, all properties and methods of person and also it has additional properties like uh, grade roll number and address and student has address instance 
so student has a address and I have defined uh, getter and setter methods for grade roll number and uh, address and I have overridden uh, two string method and using uh, student constructor we can create a student object class relationship demo has a main method first I will run this program then I will explain this is the output of uh, this sample program inside main method I am creating a Peter address then I am creating a Peter employee object then I am displaying uh, Peter details and uh, here you can see the output then I am creating uh, John address then I am creating uh, student John then I am displaying uh, student John details and uh, here you can see the output I have created a Peter address object and passed to the employee constructor like that I have created a John address object and passed to the student constructor so both the employee and the student has a address why and when to use aggregation or has a relationship for code reusability we have to use aggregation when there is a no essay relationship then uh, for code reuse purpose we can use uh, aggregation and uh, this is about uh, assay relationship and uh, thanks for watching